Assalamualaikum salam Yusuf. Check out my new mobile phone. Oh. Don't mention mobile phones in front of Aisha. She's in a bad mood. She's as mad as a hippo. Oh. Why? Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Aisha, how are you? I can sense that you are a little upset. Has it got anything to do with um a mobile phone, perhaps? The word spread out so quickly. Tell me, what's the matter? What happened? Well, I want a phone, but my mom won't give me one, and everyone in my class has one, and it makes me really ashamed because one of my best friend's younger sister, and she is six years old, has a cell phone, which I want one, but my mom won't allow me, and now it's really becoming annoying. Oh, Aisha, I can tell you're upset. I've never really seen you this upset. And you know, I'm afraid that I have to agree with your mom because, so I'm sure your mom has good reason why you shouldn't have one just at the moment because we can get so confused between needing something and wanting something. And most often, the only person who can answer that question whether you really need it is yourself. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm older than you and I don't even have a phone. My dad, he only gives me the phone on the weekends and to go to the grocery and go to places. And it's one of those really old phones, like a brick. I don't mind a brick as long as it's a phone. Oh, Aisha, I can understand that. You know, when I was your age, and even till today, I'm always wanting things, new gadgets, like I've just got this new phone. But sometimes we have to stop and ask ourselves, well, do we really need it or do we want it? And you know, we can get so caught up in that momentum of wanting things and wanting things that sometimes we just have to stop and say, you know what, these things are not going to make me happy. Do you think a mobile phone is going to make you happy? Yes, of course it will. Well, maybe for a little while, until the next new gadget comes along, and then you're going to want that one. Because all your friends have got it. And I know that becomes difficult also because everybody else has got the same things. But you must remember, happiness and peace only comes from Allah. And all these things that we have with us, all these material things we have in this world, is only going to be with us for a very, very short time. When we return to Allah, we can't take anything with us. And, you know, again, it's all about perspective. For example, you might want a cell phone, but if you're walking down the street and you meet someone who has nothing, no food, no clothing, you might begin to think, well, you know what? Maybe I just don't need that cell phone just yet. Maybe this person is worse off than me. And you know, when I feel like whining sometimes about the things I don't have, I remember a song called, Oh Allah, forgive me when I whine. And that reminds me, come on Yusuf, let's look for the songbook to cheer Aisha up. I hope it does. Searching, searching, where do we find it? Looking, looking, high and low. Searching, searching, where do we find it? Zane's Book of Rhymes, where did it go? Searching, searching, where do we find it? Looking, looking, high and low. Searching, searching, where do we find it? Zane's Book of Rhymes, where did it go? Found it, Brother Zane. Oh, thank you, Yusuf. Okay. Now, this song, I hope, will cheer you up a little. And also, maybe put things in a bit of perspective for you, Aisha. Today upon a bus I saw a girl with golden hair. And in my heart I wish that I 
was just as fair. When suddenly she rose to leave, I saw her hobble down the air. She had one leg and wore a crutch, but as she passed the smile, oh Allah, oh Allah, forgive me when I whine. I have two legs to walk upon, and the world is mine. I stopped to buy some candy, met a boy who had such charm. We talked, he seemed so happy, if I would let it do no harm. As I left, he said to me, thank you, you've been so kind. It's nice to talk with folks like you. You see, he said, I'm blind. So, oh Allah, oh Allah, forgive me when I whine. I have two eyes to see the world, and the world is mine. Later that day on my way, I saw a boy with eyes of blue. He watched the other children play. He did not know what to do. I stopped to watch him, then I said, why don't you join the others, dear? He kept on looking straight ahead, and then I knew he could not hear. So, oh Allah, oh Allah, forgive me when I whine. I have two ears to hear the world, and the world is mine. With legs to take me where I go, with eyes to see the sunset glow, with ears to hear what I know, oh, the world is mine. Everywhere in all our lives, these are his signs. Oh, Allah, oh, Allah, forgive me when I whine. I have been blessed indeed. And the world is mine. Oh, 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 Allah, oh, Allah, forgive me when I whine. Cause I have been blessed indeed. And the world is mine. Does it make you feel a little bit better, Aisha? Yeah. Now, tell me the things that you can think of in your life that you can be thankful for. How about you, Yusuf? Well, I'm very thankful that I even have a mom and a dad and I have legs to walk on and eyes to see with and ears to hear with. Exactly, like in the song, we should be thankful. These are the things we take for granted because we think, well, perhaps we didn't earn them. We just were born with legs and eyes and ears, so we take it for granted. How about you, Aisha? What are you thankful for in your life? There must be something that you think about that you, as a blessing from Allah. I have all my senses and all of them work. Exactly, there's so many people around the world who don't even have that. You know, Allah says in the Quran, something to the effect that the rivalry, you know, the, the competition between people of piling up things like cell phones and all of these things, it diverts us, it takes our attention away from Him, from Allah, from the path, until we visit the graves. When we visit the graveyards, we realize, uh-oh, one day, whether we like it or not, whether we're black or white, whether we live here or in Tahiti, we're all going to end up in the grave someday. And we can't take anything that we have with us. And then we wonder, what was the point in spending so much time and so much effort piling up all these things that are not going to matter? The only thing that you're going to take with you are your deeds. So you would hope that your good deeds are much more than your bad deeds. So we should really try to keep our minds open and be aware that you know, getting caught up in all these things that we want sometimes may not be necessary. Are you saying that we're not meant to have mobile phones? No, Yusuf, it's not about these gadgets or mobile phones. Actually, they come in handy, especially if you're trying to get hold of someone. And we spoke about communication being an amazing tool to get hold of people all across the world. But at your age, you're probably in somebody's care for most of the time. And you probably don't need one just at this stage. But I'm sure as you get older, when the need really arises, that's when you can get a mobile phone. You know, Aisha, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, lived a most simple life. And his is an example to follow. Even though he could have lived a more luxurious life, but he chose a life of balance. And that's what we need to find. Does that make any sense to you? Yeah. Um... 
Are you feeling a little better about not getting the mobile phone just yet? A little bit. You know, my mom used to say something really important to me. She said that as Muslims, we're in a great position because when things go well for us, we say thanks, we say shukr. And the more we give thanks, the more Allah will give us. And when things don't go that well and we are tested at times, we make sabr, we have patience. So, sabr and shukr. And that reminds me of another song that we could do. It's called Sabr and Shukr. Would you like to sing it with me? Okay. There was so much on my mind in my bed I lay. I turned to my side and I heard a voice say, Stop all your whining, heart rate's declining. You've got so much more than most. Look how you're slipping, how much you've eaten. Don't you know that you're supposed to say sabar and shukr are wonderful things. The praises to Allah we should always sing. When things go right, it's from Him, not me. And when they are wrong, we get through patiently. So I got out of bed, began to walk. Bumped into some folks and we started to talk. Did you hear about the killing, the bloodshed, the stealing? The grass got burnt on the other side. Soldiers are coming, people are running. All that's left is the orphan child. Sabbath and sugar are wonderful things. The praises to Allah we should always sing. When things go right, it's from Him, not me. And when they are wrong, we get through patiently. I opened my eyes and began to see everything that's happening around me. What seemed half empty now seems so full. There's no use crying over what's been spilled. While babies are dying, mothers are crying, their containers have never ever been filled. Sabah and shukr are wonderful things. The praises to Allah we should always sing. When things go right, it's from Him, not me. And when they are wrong, we get through patiently. They say that they would be enjoying this now. Yeah. <laughs> now I understand. Sabr and chukar. Very good, Aisha. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, How are my gidgety, gadgety, technologically technical library pals today? Alhamdulillah. How are you doing, man? Oh. I guess you're getting good with technology. Well, I'm trying my best, but sometimes technology just drives me crazy. Like today. Well, what happened? I had to go all the way back to the mall to get a new cell phone. <gasps> Even Brother Dan Wood's got a new cell phone. Ay, ay, ay. Shh, shh, what's the, don't, don't, oh, what's the, what's the problem? problem? Let me fill you in. Aisha's been really upset the whole day because her mom doesn't want to let her have a, a mobile phone. And I've been trying to explain to her that she's a little young for it. And when we get to our age, we need it because we need to be in contact with so many different people. So I was trying to explain to her. So tell me, why are you upset? You should be happy you've got a new phone. Oh, I wish I could be happier, but this phone has been driving me crazy. You see, I just bought a phone last year, and it stopped working last week. So when I went into the shop to get it fixed, they told me my phone was too old to fix, and I needed to buy a new one that was updated. Well, they gave me this one here, and I can't even figure out how to make it work. I know how to answer it when it vibrates, but I don't even know how to dial numbers on it. Why doesn't it ring? I don't know. I can't figure out how to make the ringer work. Oh, you know, it's really hard because technology is changing all the time. And no matter how you try to keep up with it, it's always one step ahead of you. Well, that happened with my computer. Oh, there it goes. It's vibrating. Just a second. Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's all right. I can talk for a minute. Really? Oh. Okay, well, I'll try. I'll try to figure that out. Yeah, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. All right, thanks. <sighs> anyway, uh, what was I saying again? Something about technology. Yeah, and how it's good for us? Well, it is good. I mean, you can keep in touch with friends, but 
Well, I guess it's just hard when people always want you to try and have the best and do what they do and have what they have and think the way they have. I just wish sometimes life was a little more simple. I wish sometimes at the end of the day that we could just think more about how we treated people and how we got along with people and what we did to make people's lives better instead of what we did to try to make them be just like us or think just like us or have all the same toys that we've got. You know, we were just talking about how we get so caught up in piling up the things we like until we're reminded that actually when we go, we can't take any of it with us. The most important thing in the eyes of Allah is our good deeds. What did I do today? Oh, the moon has come, the day is done, the night has covered up the sun. I have stood so often before you to pray, but I wonder, Allah, tell me what did I do today? Did I remember the words of Al-Fatiha? Did I take time to thank you for all that I have? Did my love of this world lead me astray? Tell me what did I do today? What did I do today? I have bowed to you as I made ruku Subhana Rabbi Allahim But was my faith bright or gray? Oh Allah, tell me what did I do today? Did I smile at my brother? Was I kind to my mother? Did I teach another something that I know? Or did my love of this world lead me astray? Tell me what did I do today? Did I use my time? Did I use my mind? If I search my heart, what will I find? The light of your guidance is a glimmering ray. Oh, Allah, what did I do today? 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 Oh, it's my phone again. I'm sorry, just a second. Hello? Oh, assalamu alaikum. Oh, yeah, I didn't know you had my new number. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. You can call me anytime. How are you doing? Yeah, that's great. So what's up? What can I do for you? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Sure. No, it would be great to get together sometime. Yeah, we could talk about that. Maybe we can make a plan, figure out a time to get together. We get the families together. Maybe have a little barbecue or... Um, hey, do you mind if I maybe give you a call back? I, I'm with some other really important people right now and I need to speak to them. Okay, thanks, salam alaikum. Sorry, gang. I guess it's kind of rude for me to be sitting here talking on my phone with someone else when you're all patiently waiting for me. I promise I'll put it away. One thing I do know, I do not need a cell phone just yet. Well, Aisha, I'm really happy that perhaps you understand a little more why you're not ready to have a cell phone just yet. Hey, Dawood. Why don't we do the new song we just wrote the other day? Yeah, that new song, it's all about this kind of stuff. Better yet, instead of just singing it, why don't we put on a show? Oh, I'd love to do a show. Oh, I know, let's make this a stage. But we need an MC. I'll be him. Excellent, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Brother Zane and Brother Dawood, New song! But, Yusuf, there's only the two of us here. But it's still fun to say it. No, you can't take it with you when you go. Oh, no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go, oh, when you go. I see you pride yourself in your new car. Mm -hmm. Chatting on your car, back Nakia. Oh, hello there. And you love your expensive clothes. 
But you can't take it with you when you go. When you go. No, you can't take it with you when you go. Oh, no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go. No, your variety of DVDs. No, you can't take your designer shoes. Everything you have, you're gonna lose. No, you can't take it with you when you go. No, no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go, oh, when you go. Cause there's one thing that matters when you're walking down that street. It's the good and bad that you sent for in your book of deeds. So make sure that you're ready to receive it in your right hand. And take your place among the righteous of man. Oh, man. No, you can't take it with you when you go. No, no, you can't take it with you when you go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just because you can't take it. No, you can't take it. You can't take it with you when you go. When you can't take it with you when you go. Oh no, oh no, oh no, you can't take it with you when you go. Gotta go, gotta go. Can't understand why you keep holding on. Just cause you can't take it. Yeah. You can't take it. Come on. You can't take it with you when you go. Oh, when you go. Here we go, your plans to get richer, your stash to get bigger, but man, get the picture, you can't take it with you. Your cell phones, headphones, flat screen, ringtones, big homes, power for big loans. Connections of new shoes, connections of Bluetooth, vacations where you cruise, the young ones go, ooh. Go shop for robots, go watch your what, not your CDs of hip-hops, your laptops. Just stop and let go. When you die, say bye-bye, what is best is inside. Put the scale up with these, say your best when you part. Put the wealth in your hand, take, take it, it out, out of your heart. heart. Give thanks for the wealth that your low will bestow, but know that you can't take it with you when you go. That you can't take it with you when you go. Go, go. Oh, Woo. man. Thanks, Zane. Thanks. Did you guys like the new song? MashaAllah. I loved it. Oh, oh great. Guys, thank you Good. so much for coming to visit us again. Aisha, I hope you're feeling better. Yeah. Oh, excellent. Assalamu alaikum, children. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I don't need a phone. I don't need, need, need a phone. Oh. I need one. <laughs> 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 Say it and